imagine trying to talk 600 people into helping you drag a 50 ton stone 18 miles across the countryside and muscle it into an upright position and then saying, right lads, another 20 like that, then we can party. I ought to be jealous of the tower. She is more famous than I am. The whole palace complex is built along a central axis, the axis of the world. Everything in the four directions suspend from this central point, represented by these palaces. From the height of these pyramids, 40 centuries look down on us. Clever men at Oxford know all there is to be known, but they none of them know one half as much as intelligent Mr. Toad. An opera begins long before the curtain goes up and ends long after it has come down. It starts in my imagination, it becomes my life, and it stays part of my life long after I've left the Opera House. Don't watch the big clock. Do what it does. Keep going. There's no business like show business. Thus, the sculpture serves to give people one thought. Everything is in God's hands. The ascent to the highest story is by stairs, and at their side are water engines, by means of which persons, appointed expressly for the purpose, are continually employed in raising water from the Euphrates into the garden. I sprang upon the swift ship in the form of a dolphin, pray to me as Apollo Delphinius. Also the altar itself shall be called Delphinius and overlooked forever. While the Colosseum stands, Rome shall stand. When the Colosseum falls, Rome shall fall. When Rome falls, the world shall fall. Petra is a brilliant display of man's art history in turning barren rock into majestic wonder.
We can roam the bloated stacks of the Library of Alexandria, where all imagination and knowledge are assembled. We can recognize in its destruction the warning that all we gather will be lost. It is a beautiful and important monument and an international intercultural treasure. Unless and until it can be shared by both religions in harmony, which would be a grand idea, it should remain a secular building, honoring both religions who have made it beautiful. Everything here appears calculated to inspire kind and happy feelings, for everything is delicate and beautiful. But the wrath of Hoochley Apoochley was great. And as the sacrifice passed each of the four rooms dedicated to the sun god, the sun disappeared or reappeared in the sky. There were seven wonders in the world, and the discovery of the terracotta army, we may say, is the eighth miracle of the world. Church and state, soul and body, God and man, are all one at Mont Saint Michel. And the business of all is to fight, each in his own way, or to stand guard for each other. Bolshoi Ballet is a universe of the imagination, a place of magic and enchantment, beauty and romance. Its many worlds vibrate with graceful dances, glorious music, and sumptuous costumes. In a dusty, bustling corner of the Indian state of Bihar, there is a magical place that one might think of as the hub of Buddhism. Museums are on the front lines of the fight for culture, of good with evil, in any case, of the fight against platitudes and primitiveness. At Rhodes was set up a colossus of 70 cubits high, representing the sun. The artist expended as much bronze in it as seemed likely to create a dearth in the mines. This lighthouse was the cynosure of all eyes. The Commonwealth of Venice in their armory have this inscription. Happy is that city which in time of peace thinks of war. Down through its history, only three people have managed to silence the Maracana. The Pope, Frank Sinatra, and me. The first time I stepped onto the rooftop of the Portella Palace, 
I felt as never before or since, as if I was stepping onto the rooftop of my being, onto some dimension of consciousness that I'd never visited before. The great ball court is also very impressive. I would like to have seen them play a game, although it sounds like the end was pretty violent. I think it was safer to be a spectator. The industrial heart of Germany practically stopped beating. Hardly anyone worked, hardly anything ran. The population of the rural area had to be supported by the rest of the country. King Solomon gave the Queen of Sheba all she desired and asked for, besides what he had given her out of his royal bounty. So she turned and went to her own country, she and her servants. <laughs> 